Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is August 8th, 2024, and Barcelona have officially confirmed the Barca Vision deal. Also, Ilkay Gundogan was spotted today traveling to Turkey amidst links to Fenerbahce. And finally, Barcelona are in advanced talks to transfer Julian Araujo. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before I begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all of this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you head to goal kits fanatics or kit bag and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you head to bet us all links are down below in the description now begin with the news that Barcelona have officially confirmed the news that I broke to you in yesterday's podcast which is that Barcelona have finalized the Barca Vision deal and as such Barcelona are set to return to the one new one rule. Now Barcelona announced this through this official statement that they publish on their website and social media accounts announcing that Aramark, which is the company that takes care of the catering for all this for the Spotify cap now has agreed to cover the 40 million euros that the German investment fund Libero failed to pay for the acquisition of Barca Vision and therefore Aramark will not only be a Barcelona partner as far as catering but they're also going to be a Barcelona partner because they will own a share of Barca Vision in exchange for those 40 million euros that Barcelona will immediately receive now that this deal has been signed. Now Barcelona have filled out all the paperwork and submitted it to La Liga and as soon as La Liga approves that paperwork Barcelona will officially go back to the one-to-one -one rule which means that Barcelona will be able to register all the pending players that they have yet to register and of course it will also mean that they will be able to sign players without any problems like those that they have faced for the past several several seasons because it's been a while since Barcelona have been under the one-to-one -one rule. Now that's not the only good news because Barcelona have also announced that they have renewed a current sponsorship which is with ZIC. It's a South Korean motor oil company if I'm not mistaken or lubricant whatever you want to call it but this is a partnership that Barcelona had with the South Korean company since 2018 and now they have extended it until 2027 making Barcelona the main partner of Zik in the Asia Pacific area which just highlights how strong the Barcelona brand is in the Asia Pacific um, region and with the renewal of this sponsorship of course it means more income for the club so Jean Laporta and his board continue to do a marvelous job not only getting new sponsors all the time but also renewing the current ones that we have so bravo to the board of directors who continue to increase the revenues of the club and ensuring that the current revenues continue for several years on because all of this will of course help Barcelona get out of the financial hole that we are currently in. Now on to the news of signings because we do have to talk about Dani Olmo because the presentation of the newest Barcelona player has been postponed. Now as you know Barcelona have signed Dani Olmo after reaching an agreement with the player and with RB Leipzig. Dani Olmo has officially passed his medical exams and as such Barcelona were set to present the player tomorrow, Friday, August the 9th. However, that has been delayed because they're still finalizing some documentation and as such Dani Olmo is going to sign his contract tomorrow in the offices of Jean Laporta. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of pictures but his official presentation is not going to happen until Monday, which is the day of the Jan Gamper trophy match where Barcelona will face off against Monaco. So it's reported that Barcelona will make the official presentation of Dani Olmo as a Barcelona player on that day. He will be available to play. Of course, we'll see whether Hansi Flick thinks it's a good idea or not because after all, Dani Olmo just arrived. You know, he's only going to have maybe one or two trainings with the team. So we'll see if Hansi Flick will give him some minutes or not. But Daniel Mo was most likely to be presented on that day and will be available to play 
on that day as well. Now more news because today, Gigantes, Gerald Romero's Gigantes caught Ilkay Gundogan at the airport with his wife headed towards Turkey. As soon as this picture leaked, of course, social media and media outlets went absolutely berserk because as you know, Ilkay Gundogan has been linked to Ferenbache and as such, a lot of people started speculating that Ilkay Gundogan was on his way to Turkey in order to negotiate an exit out of Barcelona. Now, as I reported in a previous video, Ferenbache's coach Jose Mourinho has personally requested from Ferenbache the signing of Ilkay Gundogan. He, in fact, even offered to call Gundogan himself to try to convince him to join the Turkish club. So when this picture leaked today, everybody started talking about Gundogan maybe sealing his move to Turkey. But later on today, Ilkay Gundogan completely denied this report, stating that he was simply headed to Turkey for two reasons. First of all, to film some ads because he does have a lot of marketing deals in Turkey. And second of all, to visit his family members because yes, Ilkay Gundogan is German. However, he is also Turkish. He has Turkish ancestry. So he has plenty of family in Turkey. So he's traveling to see his family to do those ads. Uh, he's not traveling to you know, seal some kind of deal, some move to Ferenbache. He confirmed that he is happy in Barcelona. He wants to continue in Barcelona. And in fact, he is looking forward to the upcoming season under the direction of Hansi Flick. Now, one player who does seem to be leaving the club is Julian Araujo. Because it's reported that the club are in advanced talks for the transfer of the Mexican-American fullback. Now, this news broke today and it seems that Barcelona are in advanced talks with the Premier League club Bournemouth in for the transfer of Julian Araujo. Seems that this deal could be worth around 10 million euros, which would be a good deal for Barcelona because after all, Barcelona spent 4 million euros to sign Julian Araujo. So this would be a net profit of 6 million euros. And it's reported that the deal is almost done. However, that Barcelona are still trying to negotiate a sell-on clause. So in other words, you know, add a clause that says that if Bournemouth sell Julian Araujo in the future, Barcelona would get some percentage of that sale. Now that clause has not been agreed to yet, but the deal to transfer Araujo to Bournemouth is mostly done. So as soon as they can finalize that last detail of the contract, it looks like Julian Araujo will be headed to the Premier League. Now it seems that Julian Araujo's loan to Las Palmas paid off. He impressed Bournemouth. That's why they were interested uh, or they are interested in signing him and given the options in the right back position now some of you might say well we need depth who's going to cover we do have some options of course we have Jules Kunde, who's most likely going to be starting in that position there's talks about Barcelona still wanting to bring Joao Cancelo and even if Joao Cancelo does not come there's of course the option of Hector Four, and then even Alex Baye because even even though Baye is a left back we have seen Hansi Flick employ him in the right back position so I think we'll be fine it, once Barcelona finalize the transfer of Julian Araujo to the Premier League. Anyways, that is all the news for this video. We'll be uploading another video in a few minutes, so stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, and as always, Pisca Barça.